Good early morning. So recently, our friend Brian from Amazing Animals contacted me and said, Tim, it's Shark Week on Discovery Channel. You want to go swim with sharks? And I'm like, sure, why not? So today, we are headed down to Stewart, Florida to a place called Bathtub Beach, where there are sharks, reef sharks, swimming around out in the wild on the reef that is there. Uh, I have a drone. I've gotten FAA clearance to fly in that area because it's near an airport, so I had to do a special request through the FAA to make sure that it was okay for me to fly over there. We're going to take the drone up and we're going to fly back and forth and try to find some sharks and then we'll go out and go swim with them. Should be pretty fun. I'm excited. Let's head down to Bathtub Beach. Well, you know we're getting close when we're crossing over the intercoastal waterway. We're almost there. We're heading out to these barrier islands just on the other side of the intercoastal waterway. Well, we've made it to Bathtub Reef. We're hoping to see all kinds of fish, some crabs, definitely some sharks, sea stars, and of course, coral. So we're headed out. Most of the families are down this way. We're gonna head down that way, kind of towards that jetty down there. But we'll fly the drone back and forth. You can kind of see the breaks of the waves. That's where the reef is. As I told you guys earlier, we're here with Brian from Amazing Animals. And I wanted to ask you, so we're gonna go out, we're gonna try to find some sharks. Yes. What kind of sharks do you anticipate seeing? So hopefully we'll see some black tip reef sharks, which is a really cool species of shark here in Florida. It gets about six feet. And then maybe some nurse sharks, which will be on the bottom. Nurse sharks will actually sit on the floor. They don't swim a lot. So they have specialized gills that can move water over their gills. And they can get real big, like 12, 13 feet. But probably because it's such a small habitat, we'll see some three or four foot sharks, hopefully. Okay. All right. I'm excited. Me too. So let's get this drone in the air and we'll see if we see any. All right, here we go. Time to head out. I brought the drone back and I put a polarizing filter on it to see if that helps out with some of the glare of the water. We'll see.
searched for a little bit with the drone. We didn't find anything. So, hey guys, Future Tim here. We didn't realize it until we got home and looked at the drone footage on a bigger screen. We actually did see sharks in the footage and we were actually swimming with sharks. We were looking at it on the little phone screen when we were flying the drone, so I couldn't really pick out the sharks as we were flying it, but it turns out we actually did see sharks and did swim with the sharks. We didn't get to see them close up, but we were in the water with sharks, so that's why a little bit later in the video you will hear me say like, oh, we didn't see any sharks, even though in the drone footage we do point out sharks. So, back to you, past him. We're just gonna go out and go swimming, see if we can see any sharks. If we don't see any sharks, I'm sure we'll see some fish and some wildlife, so let's go out into the water. All right, here we go. We are headed out into the water. Looks like it's going out. So I didn't see, we didn't see any sharks. Hopefully the tide going out means that the visibility will clear up a little bit because it was very difficult to see out there. As a result of the tide going out, there were rocks. And we started coming in and then we got pounded on the rock. So a little bit bloody here and there on my arm here. I got a little bit of blood. I'm gonna try to show you my back. I don't know if I can or not. Uh, I'm gonna try like this. I don't know if that actually worked or not, but yeah, kind of rolled over top of it. Got a little spot on my side too. Good times, good times. I think we're gonna go to the air again, have a look. Oh yeah, you can see the rocks that we ended up on out there. Do you guys see them? We were just kind of swimming along. 
and then out of nowhere, bang, rocks. That's what we ended up on. So both of us got pretty scraped up. In retrospect, we could have just swam back just a little bit this way, and we would have been fine. Well, the wind has picked up because I believe there's a storm to the south of us, so the drone didn't do so good. I flew back and forth a little bit, didn't see anything. I don't know. We didn't see any sharks today. Still, saw a lot of fish, saw a lot of uh, reef rock, a lot of interesting things. I wish the visibility was just a little bit better, but any day at the beach is a good day by me. Well, that's it for us from Bathtub Beach. We didn't get to see any sharks, see a lot of fish, which is good, we got to see some reef activity. So if you watched this video and you thought, oh, I'd like to go and give that a try, just be warned, this is a little bit more of an advanced snorkeling area, at least during this time when we were here. The waves were kind of pushing us all over the place. A lot of current, not a lot of good visibility. I think maybe first thing in the morning, it might be a little bit better. I think that's what we needed to do, was get here first thing in the morning to see sharks and to have better visibility. Maybe we'll come back and do it a different day. I don't know, we're on our way home now. This beach has bathrooms, and on the way into the bathroom, I saw this lizard, and I just asked Brian what it was. He said it's a red-headed agama. Oh, he's moving around. He doesn't like me showing him. Did we miss him? Where'd he go? Let me try to come around this side. Oh, there he goes, running across the ground. Did you guys see him? There's another one right there with a really bright head. You see him on top of that post? Oh, the red-headed agama, and it is invasive. Oh, there's a male and a female on top of each other, or like mom and a baby, maybe? Also, just started thundering. So I think we got out of here at just the right time. Oh, there they go, running away. This roadway leading up to Bathtub Beach, super nice, and Got some really interesting houses down here too. I think I like that about Florida and how every beach town has these beautiful, beautiful houses on the beach. Uh, very, very expensive and also very risky to buy a house on the beach in Florida where we have hurricanes all the time. But it is, this is a nice area of town. This is Stewart, Florida, a little bit south of Stewart, Florida. Looks like we pulled out of there just in time. That storm is starting to roll in. You guys see it on the horizon there? Lots of rain. Oh buddy, here's Florida rain for you. Man. I feel like that's pretty intense. You can't see anything in this direction. So we are back home and upon review of the drone footage, like a minute into the footage, we saw a shark. Just couldn't see it when we were looking at it on the phone, trying to like fly the drone and look at the phone at the same time. Uh, also saw like a barracuda, another big fish. I'm sure there's other things in the drone footage, but I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't see that one initial shark right as soon as we went up. Cause maybe we could have gone out there and seen it when we were swimming. I would like to go back out to Bathtub Beach one time, maybe earlier in the morning and try again. Cause apparently there are sharks there fairly often. I just think that we were there like after the beach wasn't crowded, but there were people swimming further down the beach. So I would imagine maybe the sharks are like, all right, we're done here. But if I got there early in the morning, the sharks might still be kind of like swimming around. So stay tuned. We'll probably go down there another time. If not, I'm glad that we got the drone because we can use that for other occasions around Florida, getting some bird's eye views. I think it'll be really neat. So all in all, Still had fun swimming, aside from rolling around on the rocks and getting a little bit cut up, but that's the uh, the risk that you take. So, good times all around. Got to see some fun fish. Got to have a good time in the water. It's always fun going to the beach. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to help. So today's organization that we would like to shine a spotlight on is Wild Aid. And I'm just gonna read you some information about the organization. Fins from up to 73 million sharks are used in shark fin soup every year. Consumption of this dish and the inhumane practice of finning has led to overfishing of many vulnerable shark species. Wild Aid raises awareness around this harmful practice and the toll it has on ocean health and our environment. The organization has been instrumental in changing consumer attitudes, convincing dozens of airlines and shipping companies not to transport shark fins, and persuading restaurants and hotel chains not to serve the dish. Sharks are crucial to the health of the marine environment and sharks have shaped the ocean ecosystem for millions of years and we benefit from their presence in the global waters. So please have a look at the link in the description down below. Learn a little bit more about what Wild Aid is doing to help sharks. 
just learning about them definitely helps out their cause and talk about it with your friends and family and thank you guys for watching this video.